What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So there was a man sitting in his living room when he heard a knock on his door. He went to the door, looked around, didn't see anybody. But then he looked down and saw a snail on the ground. He picked up that snail, threw it as far as he could, and went back to his business of the day. About a year later, the man was sitting in the same spot, heard the same type of knock on the door, went to the door, opened it up, didn't see anybody, looked down. And at the same time, he saw that same snail. That snail looked up and said, what was that all about? <laughs> the snail believed that whatever he had to communicate to the man was important. And so he was persistent at communicating that to the man. The snail had a persistent belief. And we'll see today in our devotional that this official also had a persistent belief. Coming from John chapter 4, looking at verses 48 and 49, reads like this. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, come down before my child dies. If you've been with me for the previous devotional, you've seen that there was a, a royal official from Capernaum who had a sick son. He made the 20-mile journey all the way to Cana of Galilee to ask Jesus to heal his son because he believed that Jesus could heal. And you would think that after all that journey and after all those things, that Jesus would just be like, oh, okay, let's go. Or he might just say, your son is healed. Go on. But instead, he threw the man for a bit of a loop. He told him, him and all the people around him, that unless they see signs and wonders, they will not believe. Hmm, that would take me back for a minute. I would be a little shocked and surprised but at the response of Jesus, but this didn't deter the official. If you see what the next thing he said was, he called him sir. That is the same word as Lord. He showed him a sign of respect. And he was persistent at what he needed. He needed Jesus to heal his son. And so as a result, he continued to press Jesus on coming to heal his son. Brothers and sisters, we are to be persistent as we bring our needs to Jesus. There's a story in Luke about a woman who was persistent at asking a judge to give her justice. And the judge didn't want to because he was unrighteous. But based on her persistence, he answered her request. Jesus wants us to come to him persistently, bringing our cares, our concerns, our worries, our stresses, and our fears to him. And that's exactly what this official did. He didn't take no for an answer. He didn't stop at the first opposition, but he continued respectfully bringing his need to Jesus. So, what concern, request, or need do you need to bring to Jesus today? What do you need to bring and place at his feet and ask for his help? I encourage you to bring it to him in prayer and to not stop until he responds. Because the man was persistent he had a persistent belief that Jesus could heal his son. And I want to encourage you that whatever need you have today, be persistent in bringing it to Jesus because he can respond in the way that you need. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the example of this man who even in the face of opposition from Jesus didn't stop him from showing him respect and continuing to ask for Jesus to meet his need. So I pray, Lord, that you will give us the same persistence to not stop when you may be silent, to not stop when we may not hear from you, to not stop when we may experience a no, but wait until we have assurance and be persistent, believing that you will respond to us. We thank you, Lord. We praise you and we love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for more in this Believing Jesus series in John chapter 4. God bless.